to my channel i hope you are all well it's tuesday the 8th of february and thank you for joining me today on my wane results lovely to see you all again it's nice to have a bit of a catch up and a bit of a good old chin wag you know me i love a chin wag before i get started i just need a little drink though because a bit, I'm a bit of a a bit of a throat on so a bit of a throat on always got my throat on you know what i mean so Harry Potter mug, that's what Bestie got me. When it warms up, it like it like it's one of those heating mugs, you know. You pour the hot liquid in and oh, Gryffindor. But yeah. Oh, nice, nice. I got a Beanie's coffee. Obviously, well, it could have been a winter warmer, the Vimto one, but no. It's a Beanie's coffee, Irish cream. Oh, I tell you, as soon as you open that jar. Oh, it smells, it smells so nice, it really does. Very, very nice. Oh, talking about Beanie's coffee. I picked up a Beanie's Cherry Bake Roll yesterday from Home Bargains, £1.79. Now, the smell. Oh, you can smell the bake roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. The taste, it's not too bad. Um, Would I get it again? Probably not. So, I'll just, you know, use up this jar. Not all in one go. <laughs> Won't be enough room for the milk, then, would there? <laughs> Overflow. Woo -woo. Well, there would be, but yeah, it'll take a long time, wouldn't it, to uh, dissolve all the little um, beanie granule things. Anyway, yeah. But no, it's nice. It is nice. If you're into the cherry bake, well, I mean, it's a bit of a, a hit and miss for me, you know. So, but yeah, not too bad. £1.79, home bargains. Can't go wrong there, can you? Anyhow, not here for a um, a coffee advert or anything like that. So, and don't worry, it's not sponsored, not an ad. So yeah. So, how has my week been? It's not been too bad. It could have been a little bit better. Food wise, it's been okay. It's just the exercise part of it. Anyway. So, last Tuesday and Wednesday, I was food optimising fine. Last Thursday, myself and Ian went out with our friends for a meal, and it was really, really nice. Um, sorry if this triggers anyone, but I'm going to tell you what I had. You know, honesty is the best quality, isn't it, really? And I like being honest with you lovely lot. So I had a beef roast dinner. So it, was not, it wasn't a huge, huge roast dinner like you get at the Carberry. We went to, oh, excuse me, we went to a pub called The Bowling Green in Lee. Um, it's just a nice average standard size, which is plenty. So, you know, a couple of roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, a couple of slices of beef, a bit of broccoli, a bit of carrot, some gravy. What else was there? You know, that little new potato with a bit of skin on. Well, it had, a, it had skin, not a bit of skin, the whole skin on. But yeah, that was nice. I had a Pepsi Max. I don't usually drink Pepsi Max. I don't usually drink a lot of pop either. So, it kind of clings to me so only on special occasions obviously and I thought you know this is a nice special occasion because we were out out if you get what I mean um and then for pudding I had a honeycomb cheesecake with a scoop of vanilla ice cream oh my days so nice but very very sweet and yeah oh yeah very sweet but it was nice to get out so yeah so all good sorted Ian had a Thai curry, um, I thought he wanted the chicken with it, but he didn't in the end, so he had what he wanted anyway, he had a bit of chips and some rice and a bit of curry, and for his pudding he had, a, I think he had a chocolate fudge cake with a bit of um, ice cream, so yeah, and he had a half pint of lager, because um, I was the driver you see, so I was being good, so yay me, yes, yeah, so it was nice to catch up with friends, and all good, yeah, so jobs are good him. Then, Friday, I was back to food optimising. I did say, didn't I, last week? I'll be straight back on it, and I was. I did a lot of cooking over the weekend. I made a tuna pasta bake for Ian. I got one of my lasagna dishes out. It's about this big, and I did a massive big tuna pasta bake for him. I could have done a sin-free one, so I could add some. But I thought, no, I'm going to get this jar, you know, the sauces and the jars and just put all that in, which I did. I did weigh out the cheese though, force of habit I suppose, but anyway, we've all done that haven't we, haven't we, no, just me then, okay then, <laughs> yeah, so I managed to get four portions, so Ian had a portion on Friday, and then there was three left over, so I got these little four tray, 
foil tray, so the little lids on, you can write what's in it. And then he had another one on Saturday, and then I put the other two in the freezer, and then he had, and then I got one out yesterday, so he had that yesterday for tea. So yeah, so Ian said next time when he makes it, just make pasta with the sauce. So yeah, so because I think it's the tuna, it gets a bit much. I'm not too sure, but he said instead of the normal cheese, get some Parmesan cheese to put on top. It's a bit finer, isn't it? Anyhow, so that's all good. What else did I make? I made two lots of soup. Well, actually three. But in my soup maker, yes, I've got a soup maker. I love my kitchen gadgets. Okay, I love them. Can't get enough of them. I made a tomato soup, completely sin-free and seafood. Obviously, tomatoes. Um, I made a butternut squash and pepper soup. Whoa, that has got a kick to it. It really has got a kick to it. I put a bit of chilli powder in, smoked paprika, so, you know, give that a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, good. <laughs> and then in my big saucepan, I made the Moroccan-style chicken soup again, but this time I made eight portions. Yes. Had one of them with a half-roasted butternut squash. Yum, yum. Nom, nom. Yes. Yes, very nice. If you haven't seen that recipe, I will leave a link in the description below to that recipe for you, lovely lot. Yeah, Sharon is caring. Oh, yeah. Um, What else did I make? I think that's it. Oh, no. I did a barbecue pulled gammon in the slow cooker. Yum, yum. And I had that with the other half of my roasted butternut squash. So, yeah, all good. Um, And then... Uh, the rest of it, I put my little foil trays and put them in the freezer. With I labelled them. Yes, I labelled them this time. So I now know what's in the tubs. <laughs> Go me, eh? Yay. Tap on the shoulder. Woo! <laughs> anyway. Um, what else is happening? No, that was it. That was it, yeah. So, like I said, food's been brilliant. Um, but the exercise, I could have done more. But the weather has been absolutely crap. It really has. I'm not prepared to go out when it's hailstones and rain and high winds and I get a cold, bring it back here and Ian up, ends up getting it and that's not good because once Ian gets a cold it affects his chest and he'll end up getting a chest infection and I don't want that. So, but yeah, he's my main priority. You know, if he gets ill, no, not good, not good. And we don't want that now, do we? No, we don't. So, I will go through my diary, as always, and I'll let you know how I got on. So, I've got the right page this time. <laughs> I'm organised. <laughs> so, last Tuesday, the 1st of February, I stepped, no, not I stepped to the girls. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself now. Come on, Steph, you're in the diary. The diary, not the plaque. Okay, rewind. Last Tuesday, the 1st of February, I ended on 13 and a half sins. I didn't use sins, Steph. Sins, okay. <laughs> Wednesday, the 2nd of February, 10 sins. Dear. <sighs> that coffee on it. <laughs> Thursday, the 3rd of February, I was over sins, so sins unknown. Friday, the 4th of February, pulled it back in. Sin free. Saturday the 5th of February, sin free. Sunday the 6th of February, sin free. And where is it now? And then yesterday, all together now, sin free Monday. Yes, it was. It was, it was. It was. So, last Tuesday, the 1st of February, get it right now, Stephanie, <laughs> I stepped on the scales and I had a loss of one pound. And it left me on nine stone, nine pound. So it's blooming wonky, isn't it? I stepped on the scales today and I had a gain of one pound. You know what? I even levelled it, yeah, <laughs> to make it straight. And it's still blooming wonky. So I had a gain of one pound. So, 
<laughs> I say, you don't just get a weighing result and a chit chat with me. You get a bit, you know, throw a bit you know, comedy and everything, you know. We all have a laugh here, can't we? Oh, yeah. So, this is week 211. I now weigh 9 stone, 10 pound, and all together I've lost 6 stone, 13 pound. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I was talking to Ian today and he said, You're, you are maintaining your weight. And I am. Um, I have reached my target, 10 stone, but I am hovering around my target. So, yeah, I am pleased with that. I am. I am pleased with that. And like I said, if I do lose more, then that's a bonus. But, like Ian said, I'm maintaining my weight. So, yeah, so I'm okay. I am hunky-dory. I really am. So yeah, so um oh I did a shopping haul yesterday. Seen that. And um Rita, hi Rita, made a comment saying, Oh I like, I like watching the shopping hauls, you know, you know, you're very amusing, you know, and everything. You might have a laugh, so thank you, Rita. I aim to please, I really do. And Lynn, hi Lynn. Um, she mentioned about the Beanie's coffee and she said that she has a bit of um, Baileys in her Beanie's coffee. Well, Lynn, you're not the only one, love. I do too. It's so nice. And you know what? The Irish cream, like you said, with a bit of Baileys. Oh, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Jobs are good in, definitely. Oh, yeah. Big thumbs up. Well, double thumbs up and jazz hands for that. Yeah. And also, Lynn mentioned about the um, Brooklyn light yogurts in Aldi. I didn't know Muller light, uh, the people that make the Muller lights, made them too. So, you know, who'd have thought, eh? So I might have to um, have a look, see, and see what they're like. So yeah, so thank you ladies, you know, Rita and Lynn for your lovely comments. And thank you to all of you for your kind comments your continu continuous, get the words out so I mean, continuous support to my channel. It means so much, it really does. It really does. I mean, Ian was saying to me today, because I was, I was talking about doing Slim World Online and everything, and I know it's £60 for three months, I think it's £20 a month or something, and yet that's the bronze package. And he said, but why? He said, you've been doing it on your own now for two years, you know, since the first lockdown, which was 2020. And I went, yeah, I have. And he goes, and you've done well. And I said, yeah, yeah, I've done all right. So, so you know, I mean, I've got your support, which is nice. And I've got my family support. And Ian, he's been absolutely brilliant. He really is. He's just, he's my solid rock. He really is, you know. So, I mean, yeah, you know, we have our, our good days and our bad days. Not as a relationship, but with Ian's health and everything, but we get through it, we do, we, we, we manage, you know, we just take each day as it comes, and maybe, I know it's a small channel, and I don't vlog as much as other YouTubers, but Ian is my main priority, because I'm his carer, and um, yeah, and he'll always come first, you know, so, but I do appreciate every single one of you, I really do, I think you're all brilliant, and you're not just subscribers, you're my friends, you know, you are my chubby friends. <sighs> Don't swell up now, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I do, I do mean it, I do. From the bottom of my heart, you are all fabulous, you really are. Doesn't matter if you're not on a slim world journey or if you're doing calorie counting, whatever journey you are following, it's just lovely to have that support, it really is. There's no judgment, is there? No one judges you. You just You just treat me like a person, because I am a person, you know, you know what I mean, don't you? You get me? You do, you do, you do. I mean, how many times have you got, I mean, how long have you followed me now? You must get me by now. I mean, what you see is what you get, you know. I'm always honest with you. I never hide anything from you. So, but yeah, it's all good, it is, it's all good. Anyway, plans for this week. Well, we are going to the cinema tomorrow. And um, we're going to go and watch a film called, I think it's Moonfall, I think. I'll let you know what it is, I'll put it up here somewhere, so yeah. Oh yeah, did I try anything new last week? Yes, I did. Oh my God, oh my God, I completely forgot to mention this. 
I tried the corn pieces. Um, they're okay. Um, would I get them again? Probably not. I've got another bag in the freezer. What I did with the first bag, um, I didn't realise you had to put them in the pan and cook them. I thought you had to put them in the oven, but you have to read the label at the back, Stephanie. <laughs> so anyway, so I did that and I served them with just a salad. But I think next time I'll serve them with a sauce, so like a sin-free barbecue sauce or a sin-free curry sauce. Um, I have got the Uncle Ben's No Added Sugar Sweet and Sour Sauce and it's the six bins for the whole jar. I think it's still six bins, I'm not too sure. But we'll see what happens. But I think next time I'll do a sauce with them. Um, they're a little bit dry. Also, they remind me. Now, this is going to sound silly, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay, because you know what I'm like. I say silly things anyway. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> it's a lot of anyways. Um, they remind me of corn nuggets, but without the coating. I know it sounded silly. I, I told you. It was. Yeah, so that's what it reminds me of. Um, they're nice as well. They used to be half sin, but they're one sin now. So anyway, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna use that bag up I've got in the freezer. I might get them again. I, I actually, I, I probably won't. No, I don't know. I, uh, it's a trial and error, isn't it? So yeah, so but I rate them a seven out of ten. So, but with the sauce, it, it might go up again. You never know. Anyhow, so yeah, so movie tomorrow. I think it's Moonfall. But obviously, like I said, I'll put it at the top on screen for you. So it does look good. It's a bit of a people that directed Independence Day. So it's more, it's like Independence and Transformers into one kind of thing. So the trailer does look good. It's sci-fi and I'm, I like my sci-fi. I like my Star Trek, my Star Wars. Um, what else do I like? Uh, but then I like, yeah. Yeah, I like my all that kind of stuff so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop rambling on because i bet you're thinking oh, it's about bloody time isn't it crikey oh. anyway <laughs> let me know how you got on yourselves this week whatever journey you are following whatever works best for you if it's not working just change it up a little you know and if it is good on you you know just take each day as it comes little stepping stones and we'll get there in the end we'll, oh god excuse me won't we I can never drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, so sorry. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm not going to edit out either. So, you know, this is real life, you know. Like I said, this, you know, what you see is what you get. So, yeah. So, yay, aren't you lucky? <gasps> Air hug. <laughs> anyway, um, wishing you all a positive week. Uh, let me know how you've got on yourselves. You know, it'd be nice to hear from you all. And if you are not following me on following me on Instagram, I will leave a link to that too. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, it's free to do so. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. And as always, keep smiling, stay positive, and take care, and I will see you. Same. Bye for now.